When it comes to blog writing, attention to grammar, attention to your audience, and brevity are essential. But the most crucial aspect of your blog is that it contains relevant information. For a blog to survive and gain traction, you need to find out what your ideal clients want to read and give it to them. Hmm, easier said than done, right? That's why in this video, I'll share with you how to find topics for your virtual assistant and virtual expert blog. And yes, you want to have a blog. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, your business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. So I'm going to jump right into my number one go-to recommendation for how to begin to come up with topics for your blog. And it is think about the services you offer and then teach your target market how to do them. These are how-to blog posts. So one example of how-to blog posts, you can go to my blog at expertvatraining.com. Those are primarily how to blog posts. For example, my target market as a virtual assistant was self-published authors. One of the services I offered was marketing the books they wrote. So I wrote blog posts on how to market self-published books. From that one fairly broad topic, you can come up with many blog post topics. So using that topic, you could come up with how to market your book using Facebook, how to market your book using LinkedIn, how to market your book using Amazon, how to market your book using a blog, how to market your book using video. So see how many different blog posts you could write on just that one topic. So you may be asking yourself, why would you possibly want to tell your target market exactly how to do something that you're offering to do for them? Because it demonstrates that you know exactly how to perform the service. And it gives readers an opportunity to see how much time it would take them to do it. That combination is a great way to get new clients. And not only does the blog demonstrate that you're an expert on this topic, it also shows you're so generous that you're willing to share with others how to do the service so they can do it themselves if they choose to. Do you like to work with people who show their generosity in every way possible? I know I do. If someone gives me valuable free information, I'm a lot more likely to think that they're not going to nickel and dime me to death or they're not going to charge me some outrageous amount that's not worth it because they're generous. And I also think if this is their free stuff, imagine how valuable their paid stuff is. So back to the topic of how to find more blog post topics. <clears throat> when you run out of how-to topics, which by the way, you're really not going to run out of, but if you get tired of writing them, what do you do? Well, jog your creativity. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to get those creative juices flowing. First, read other blogs you enjoy. Even if the topic is something far afield from your area of specialization, a well-written, interesting blog post will give you ideas for your own topics. Set up Google Alert to be sent to you once a day. Google Alerts send you an email when a new page for your chosen term makes it into the top 20 results on Google's web search. You automatically receive articles and blog posts that you can use to keep track of what's happening in in your market and get ideas for your own blog posts. So what type of topics might you set up as a Google alert? Well, I have virtual assistant and virtual assistant industry. When I was a VA for authors and professional speakers, I had the topics of self-publishing and professional speaking set up. When I was a real estate VA, I had the topics of real estate and 
Realtors set up. So you'll probably want to set up virtual assistant general topics as well as anything specific to your area of specialization. And then experiment with different words with your Google Alerts until you get the results you want. And as an aside, be sure to go ahead and set up an alert for your own name and the name of your company so you can keep track of what people are writing about you on the web. Here's another idea. Jot down ideas you run across that you think you might like to blog on someday. I like to make this super easy by putting ideas into a Google Drive doc. And then I have them handy anytime I want to write a blog post. Another tip, brainstorm with your coach and other VAs and VEs. You could also Google business blog topics. And I'll tell you, there are so many blog topics out there, you will never run out. Now, it's time to come up with your first list. And I challenge you to come up with 100 topics before you quit. Go ahead, get ready, go do it. And then if you want to learn out, learn more about how to become a well-paid virtual expert, click the link below to watch my free webinar. And so that you never miss any of my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and comment on this video to let me know what you think.